Oh, hi, welcome to the show. I'm Jill. Um, it's this, or, it's November um, 26th today. Yesterday, hey, puppies, come here. I have two dogs, their names are Lenny and Penny. Come here. Can you guys have a seat? Good. <laughs> okay, so this YouTube channel has been something I have already started, but um, I was, I'm about to get serious now, okay? I've gotta learn how to... Can you guys sit? Both of you, good. Penny, sit, good. Those are apples, if anybody cares. Okay, um, so this is the thing. Like, I um, just have a lot of subjects that I need to just get my feelings out on just because um, I don't know if anyone else feels the way that I do about certain things in life in general. Um, I do believe it's very important for us to talk about this. So let's cut to the chase. Oh, it's 11.11. .11. I just hit the, hit the phone as I was um, totally, you know. Hmm, interesting. So two days ago when I, um, I had made a, this like little thing has topics galore in it, okay? Um, but the one that I pulled out um, two days ago, um, the first one that I was like for real like pull out um, was cigarettes. Um, and I don't know if it's because I pulled this out or if I'm just a lunatic um, weakling sometimes when it comes to cigarettes. Okay, let's just get down to business. Um, I've quit drinking for almost four years. Um, at one point I had quit smoking cigarettes recently for over over a year and a half. Um, and then last December 21st, um, I, I freaking like lost my mind and my purse was stolen out of my car along with my um, songbook that I've been working on for literally 25 years and I literally lost my mind and um, started smoking cigarettes um, at that point. Um, and like had been smoking um, off and on pretty much for the entire last year. But what I want to just go back to is starting smoking in the first place. So, I mean, I think that everybody on the freaking planet can absolutely 100% agree that smoking cigarettes are just not smart. Um, pretty much, like, to me, like, breathing literally is, like, the most, like, important thing on the planet. And, like, it's, like, oxygen and, you know, if you want to think about the trees and everything like that, like, the trees give us oxygen, we breathe out carbon all, all this, all if it, we should not get into all this right now, we can try to in another video. But um, I remember the first cigarette that I um, smoked. Well, when I was little, um, my dad was a minister, um, and his congregation people would smoke outside of the church and then like leave like cigarette butts and stuff in the um, flower beds out front and I was such a little cutie and such a little weirdo and I would go out there and I would weed the flower beds and I'd um, there'd be like little petunias in there and stuff like that but like I I was like kind of like a bad rebel kid a little bit lots of times because I was, I, I don't even know. Let's just say that I was a curiosity killed the kind of cat kind of kid. Um, and I've always just been one of these people that have to freaking find things out on my own um, in order to even 
learn my lesson and I think that other people are that way too. Um, so the first cigarettes that I smoked were like partial cigarettes and I got like a matchbook from somewhere, I don't even know where. Um, and I went behind our garage when I was a little kid. I mean, I was like under under third grade because this was in North Home, so this would have had to be. And I would smoke, I would smoke when I was like first, second, third grade like this this is bad like this that was really 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 bad like um like I really just kind of don't even know how to like why I mean I also drank my first beer um when um like there was a camper my neighbor's camper and there was a hot Budweiser in there um for how long I stole that and I drank that too but I don't know why I do things behind garages. Um, but anyway, so then like later on in life, like let's just, I was probably about 15, um, 14 maybe when I like actually like smoked cigarettes and it really truly was to rebel and to piss my parents off, mostly my mom. Um, because I had gone through, um, here's the thing, like when it's my perception of things and I'm going through something and like I have to rebel because it's like, I don't even know. Anyway, um, so this, this is the thing that I was going to say is like all day long today. And I mean, that was like, that was like. I smoked cigarettes for, 20, I mean, 20 years pretty solidly straight of like about a pack a day until I moved in here um, into my house and then I had about that year and a half of being perfectly happy and fine not smoking and then um, last December when my purse got stolen it was just like a downward um, spiral from there and then even today and off and on like in the last like little tiny bit like I had um, decided that I was gonna stop again on the full moon thing and I had done really really good um, I did I had done really good in October and then it was um, one of my friends had a thing um, he had taken his own life and that freaking night I also bought a pack. So pretty much, let's just put it this way. Cigarettes, like, ha are like fucking addictive as fuck. Like, let's not freaking play with that. Like, I can't roll my own cigarettes and be satisfied. I can't smoke American spirits and be satisfied. I need camel freaking blues. Um, I, the chemicals are what I'm going for. Um, I don't know why they make me feel so good when, like, it's like an anxiety rush. And like, it's like, careful guys. It's, it's just like, it does the opposite. I'm thinking like it's gonna help me relax and take a little break. And like, really honestly, like, it does not, do that it does the opposite of what I need it to do and if I would just fucking chill the fuck out and just breathe and do what I've been doing for the, like the past like few days um, actually since I've been doing freaking breathing exercises and stuff I've been watching a bunch of videos on breathing and just um, doing disgusting research on cigarettes and really just having to fully like wrap my brain around not wanting to smoke, valuing my lungs and my breath and my life and my health and being strong enough like within me and like strong enough like mentally to just say no and I don't need it and like it's harder than anybody realizes because like all day long I felt like I was dealing with some completely unnecessary stress 
that has been like outside of my control. It's like how, what in the world am I doing to attract these really ridiculous st stressful situations to where I'm like, this is something that I shouldn't even be listening to. And then here's the other thing too, when something is not an absolute, hell yes, I want to do that. I'm just not gonna do anything anymore unless it's an absolute yes, yes, yes. I love my alone time and I love my time with my puppies so much that it doesn't freaking matter to me right now at this moment in time if I have, honestly, I really also don't even feel like I have any friends that are even on my level, like barely at all. You know what I mean? Like I am a single, hu childless human on this planet. I, I don't um, identify with any gender. I feel like I'm a gender fluid person. I recently feel like that is because I've, I've been learning and doing more research about masculine and feminine energy. And I feel like um, people just don't understand that um, aspect of me. And it's a real honest fucking thing and I cannot make it up and I can't pretend like it's not a thing. Um, and like, I don't drink alcohol anymore. Um, like I, I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. <laughs> I mean, I could literally go buy a fucking pack right now and like, it, like, I would think that they are delicious, but I just have to sit home and not smoke. Um, but all of the health things, um, let's just put it this way. Anybody that gives a crap about themselves and literally wants to like, love themselves legit like will not smoke cigarettes Let's see what else here what else do I have to say about this like for real there's just no excuse any there's no excuse anymore I could whip out the freaking math problems I could add up how much money I literally have wasted on cigarettes cigarettes do absolutely nothing good whatsoever in fact breathing is like literally like there are breathing studies and i've been doing freaking reports and shit on all this like breathing is like we first of all we probably breathe wrong anyway um so i just i, I don't even know what to say this has probably gotten way off the cigarette topic other than come on people come on people i'm so like I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. Where's my, here, this is funny. I do this kind of stuff all the time. I'm, I'm just, here's the thing. And like, I completely fucking beat up on myself like no other when I know that I don't want to be smoking. I so don't want to be smoking. Like, I don't want to be smoking cigarettes. I don't even want to. Like, it's just like, I can't even like explain it, okay? Breathe, Jill. I kind of forgot that I even wrote this paper. Breathe, Jill. I release myself from cigarettes once and for all. This is not hard. I love breathing. I love singing. I love being free. They do nothing good. Save money, save time, save my life. I love myself more than cigarettes. It's time. I release myself from cigarettes. And here's the other thing too. Like if if you think that you're my friend or if you have friends 
that are trying to quit smoking cigarettes or trying to quit drinking or trying to quit doing other things. Like you are not their friend. You are not their friend if you freaking tempt them and like, but you're not, you're not. You're a fucking asshole if that's what you're doing to people. You know, and, and for me too, it's like, I know that I have free will and I know that it is only up to me. I mean, if I do decide to, to smoke or if like somebody gives me a cigarette, I, I realize that it's only my own choice and that it is my own freaking deal. But like, come on, like I have to also be smarter and like remove myself from situations where I know that I'm not strong enough to freaking say no. And like today, if I would see a fucking cigarette, I would probably fucking smoke it, okay? No. All right. That was a very rambly video. Um, just for fun. Because there's a thousand pieces of paper in here. What's my next topic? Sports. Woo! Okay, gotta go. Bye. I love everyone. I'm just talking, okay? I'm just talking. I do still have a right to free speech, don't I?